to make a decent game you obviously have to spend lots of time on it, but I just wanted to see how much time really impacts the quality of the game. So in this video I made 3 different games in 3 different time limits and these are the results. Starting off with the 1 hour game, uh, there wasn't really enough time to make 3D models so I made the character just as a cube. <laughs> Wait what? Why did I name it sphere character? What am I doing? Yeah, let's just say my brain wasn't at its peak at that moment. So after making a character, I made it so that more cubes spawn, which you have to pick up. And there's two types of them, the green ones, which give you score and speed you up, and the red ones, which make you die instantly. Yeah, no mercy in my game. So the point of the game is that you'll eventually speed up so much to where you can barely control the character and just bump into a red cube accidentally. The higher score, the better, obviously. So um, this thing was starting to become into an actual game, but then I realized that <laughs> there's only 20 minutes left. The game looked dark shit. So I made the whole map black and made the cubes glow. And for the final touches, I added a widget which displays your score, a you die screen and a replay ability. Oh, uh, you, you don't want to replay? You want to quit the game? You can't, there's no quit button, you're stuck in this game forever. Anyway, this is the final result. You might be asking, why is the game so ass? Well, as you can see, one hour just doesn't lead to good games. So moving on to the second game, I had no idea what I want to make. So I went into Blender and made a tank. But then I realized that I spent too much time on just one tank and won't really be able to make a whole game in one day, so I scrapped that. Okay, uh, new, new game idea, guys. I love thinking of game ideas because I'm so good at coming up with something original, man. Yeah. This is basically you, right? And, uh, this is a house, but it's like medieval, you know? Uh, and you have to deliver groceries to it in a limited amount of time, like before the time runs out. But, uh, but it's like uh, medieval, you know? So, uh, yeah, I was confused by my own idea. Well, <laughs> you could say that I'm not the best 3D artist. I made a simple landscape in Unreal and imported the house and I guess it looks fine. I then made a fence in Blender and surrounded the territory with it so we can't escape this little village in the middle of nowhere. So I guess I have the map but what I don't have is the game. I first named the character. Uh, just imagine that this is a person, okay? I then added the stable thing with four food products, which you'll have to deliver to the people. Now, I know it's kind of hard to tell, so this is supposed to be bread, this is an apple, this is a cucumber, and this is a mushroom. Why are those the products I picked? I don't know, maybe because they were easy to model. Next, I, I need to actually make the main goal of the game. So I made the widgets with their background as an indicator of how much time you have left to deliver something. I also added text for score and made it so you can actually lose and replay. If if you do so just like in the one hour game so anyway i was scared away with all these new features i wanted to implement when it hit me that this game doesn't even have a character it's just a cube running around which uh, isn't very good i don't think i've ever seen a cube run around delivering food now you see i have never modeled a character before so what i did was well um it appears to me that this game will not have a character it looks like it's a naked man running around okay anyway um so just like that the one day game is finished i guess i couldn't really implement everything i wanted to but um it's pretty okay as it is i think you can already see the difference 10 extra hours made okay so this might be <laughs> really random but um yeah, we are going to rob a store right now. I don't really have any experience in robbing stores, so I don't really know how robbing works behind the scenes. I first have to plan out the whole map and general ideas of how the game should work, so I drew this layout plan thing. I then realized that robbing a grocery store isn't a good idea. Like, have you ever seen a man running out of the grocery store with like avocados in his hands or some shit? No, you haven't. And well, if you have, then uh, I don't know, you're seeing things, okay? Anyway, yeah, my game. So, you know what? Yeah, sure. Like, modeling the phones and PCs and all of that is probably easy for me anyway because they're like boxes, you know? So, here you go, new plan. We are robbing a tech store instead. So, I first made all the phones, so all the TVs and all of that shit and... Oh, hey, wh what you saying? They don't look like phones? <laughs> yeah, I, I know, man. I know they don't look like phones, okay? I tried my best. Now, remember the plan I showed you earlier? If you do, then forget about it because I'm changing it. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. I added a security room, which you'll be able to see from the outside. Now, you probably can't see what's happening inside security rooms for security reasons in real life. But, um, you know, games aren't real life, so... Now, the next thing, I added a character because you kind of need to be able to exist in order to rob a store. Then I randomly decided, hey, I want to make it so that the items I look at are highlighted because that would look cool and, and wouldn't waste me like like five days right okay it didn't waste me five days but like what is this my brain is just completely fried but um i guess i'm not the only one who thinks that highlighting objects is cool 
I also added this widget pop-up thing when you hover your crosshair over an item and I think it looks actually good. But it's time to face my number one fear and try to make a character in Blender. Now, <laughs> look, it's my first time trying to model a human, okay? Bro is barely standing on his feet. Now that I have this awesome character model, I can add AIs that walk around and do nothing, but you know, every store has people in it, so uh, it's a good idea, right? I have created AIs in the past, so to be fair, this was kind of easy to implement. Now, the AIs are kind of dumb, so they just get stuck in the middle of the map sometimes, <laughs> or somehow get on the shelves, I don't even know how that's happening. I then actually added the stealing mechanic and added this truck, which you'll have to load all the items into when your bag gets full. This truck will also be used to drive off and otherwise just end the game because I'm definitely not making a driving mechanic in one week. <laughs> no, no I'm not. So main logic is done. But you can just freely rub this door without anyone stopping you, which is probably too easy. And I don't want my games to be too easy, so I need to add security now. Basically, a way to lose. So I first made a different colored clothes security guy model that made it so the game distinguishes which AI is security, which isn't. And I made it so that security is just looking at the cameras most of the game. But once in a while, because the security guy conveniently for you is affected by social media and has an attention span of a f***ing, I don't know, raccoon or some shit, he goes away from the cameras for like 15 seconds and in that time period you can just freely steal anything you want so now you can see him walking back and forth in his room and um i i don't really know what all of this means anyway i added a you last screen and uh yeah i still haven't fixed this i also implemented a timer before the police will come to the store to get your ass so you can't just sit there forever and just like that the game is almost done but there's kind of no reason right now to go get the heavy tvs instead of the lighter phones so i also added a list of items which you require to steal if you don't steal all the required items you just lose so for the final touches i made an actual terrain for this game because you know uh, yeah, ter terrain is cool, right? So now this looks a little bit better. And I also added trees. Light. Well, uh, this kind of does oh, remind me of something. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, anyway, for some reason, the landscape is giving the store color, which is really red, but thankfully there was a simple option to disable that, which isn't disabled by default for some reason. <laughs> I also optimized FPS, and it went from like 60, 70 to 100, 120 which is really cool. So the game is finally done just like that. I think you can clearly see the difference between all the games, obviously, because in the first game, I could only use basic geometry because of the time limit. In the second game, we have a more colorful view. And in the third game, I was actually able to make a whole as robbery simulator. So, you know, that's pretty cool. The download link of the third game is in the description if you'd like to try it. And no, you're never going to see the first two games ever again for your own good. So yeah, now we are sure that time really impacts the games a lot, which is not a good thing in my situation because, uh, you know, school, uh, exams, homework, tests, uh, all of that shit. Anyway, you should join our community, link is in the description, because honestly, I'd love to chat with you, so you're welcome there.